Ultimaker has been in the desktop 3D printing industry for a long time. They've aimed to be an answer to every part of the 3D printing process, from filament to their free slicing software Cura to polished and high quality 3D printers. The latest models from Ultimaker are forced to be reckoned with, from the single extrusion Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect to the dual extrusion Ultimaker S5 or Ultimaker S3. Without knowing what to look for, it can be hard to compare different models and know which one is best for you. Luckily, you have the pros at Matter Hackers here to help you on your journey. Let's jump into it. Between the three Ultimaker models, there are really only two size classes, the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect and Ultimaker S3, while not having exactly the same build volume dimensions, will in practice be virtually identical. The 2 Plus Connect has a build volume of 223 millimeters wide by 220 millimeters deep and 205 millimeters tall. And the S3 has a build volume of 230 millimeters wide by 190 millimeters deep and 200 millimeters tall. In contrast, the Ultimaker S5 is considerably larger than both with a build volume 330 millimeters wide by 240 millimeters deep and 300 millimeters tall. The trade-off between the Ultimaker S3 and 2 Plus Connect is more or less the slightly shallower build volume in exchange for dual extrusion. If both are an important factor for your success, then the Ultimaker S5 pulls no punches and is the build volume champion. Other than size, the most obvious difference between these Ultimaker 3D printers is that the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect is single extrusion and the Ultimaker S3 and S5 are dual extrusion. In the case of the 2 Plus Connect, you are limited to 3D printing in only one material or color at a time. Support structures will have to be extruded in the same material as your build material, which is perfectly serviceable. You will just need to take the time to chip and clip away at the supports to reveal your 3D print underneath. With the S3 and S5, you have two nozzles with the second lifting and lowering out of the way to avoid smearing material. You're able to use two colors or materials in the same 3D print, which allows you to use dissolvable support materials, so you can toss your finished 3D print in a tub of water and simply wait for the supports to dissolve away. Or you can print unique models in two colors to show off specific features. What really sets the Ultimaker S3 and Ultimaker S5 apart from other 3D printers is how they incorporate their hot end components. Where the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect has the heat sink, heat break, heater block, and nozzle all rigidly mounted to the print head, the S3 and S5 use print cores. These are components that feature everything needed to make a hot end in one easily removable package. So you can swap out the entire print core if you want a new nozzle size, new nozzle material, or if you want to remove it for regular maintenance. Simply follow the wizard to remove material, lower the fan bracket, pinch and remove a core, insert the new one, and get ready for printing. And because each print core has a built-in PCB, the Ultimaker will remember the offsets for the nozzle's position, so you don't need to completely recalibrate the printer after swapping print cores. With the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect, it's a more traditional setup with a nozzle that needs a hex wrench to remove. This has its benefits in that you aren't restricted to the print cores that Ultimaker offers and can instead use basically any M6 threaded nozzle available. So you can use something like the Olsen Ruby or Nozzle X on the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect, giving you the freedom to experiment as you need. The temperatures that your 3D printer can reach dictate what materials you can and can't work with. In the case of the Ultimaker S3 and the S5, the bed temperature will not be your limiting factor as it can reach as high as 140 degrees Celsius, which is more than enough heat for even the most extreme materials like ABS or polycarbonate. The Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect, while it can't reach as high, its maximum temperature of 110 degrees Celsius still works perfectly well with these materials. Similarly, the three machines differ in the temperatures that the nozzle can reach. Because the Ultimaker S3 and S5 both utilize print cores, the maximum printing temperature is 280 degrees Celsius, which should allow for the use of most materials that you can 3D print with. On the other hand, because of its construction, the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect is limited to 260 degrees Celsius, which is enough for any Ultimaker materials, but may prove difficult for other brands of filament that need higher temperatures. For any 3D printer, having a build surface as flat as possible is essential for consistently smooth first layers. By using float glass, a specific type of glass designed to be very flat, in every Ultimaker 3D printer, you can be confident that the first layer will be flat. Among the three Ultimaker models available, each use a three-point leveling system to adjust the plane the bed sits in. Tighten or loosen each thumb screw under the bed, and the entire build plate tilts to more closely match the plane the nozzle moves in. However, the Ultimaker S3 and Ultimaker S5 take it a step further and utilize a sensor built into the bed and print head to gauge the true shape of the glass, creating a mesh to automatically fine tune the nozzle's distance from the glass plate so it can always be the same distance, thereby ensuring you don't have any errors of the build plate that introduce adhesion problems. 
If you know you're gonna be printing with some of the stinkier 3D printing materials like ABS or polycarbonate, having built-in filtration to clean the air of the printer is a worthwhile investment. The Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect and Ultimaker S5 have the air manager add-on that you can purchase that simply plug into the back of the Ultimaker, snap onto the top, and provide full control of the air surrounding the 3D print. In the case of the Ultimaker S3, there isn't a filtration option available through Ultimaker. It can be hard to compare pricing for machines that are so similar and yet have some pretty significant differences. While the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect and Ultimaker S3 have comparable build volumes, the 2 Plus Connect is quite a bit cheaper than the S3 at the cost of being only single extrusion. Between the Ultimaker S3 and S5, the overall difference is in their build volume and the add-ons that are available. The Ultimaker S5 is the largest Ultimaker available, so if you plan on producing larger 3D prints, then this is your option, and it's the only S-series printer to have any add-ons. To really step up the Ultimaker S5's abilities, the Ultimaker Material Station is designed to manage all of your materials at once without any user intervention. With six different material bays, you can keep multiple materials or colors loaded and at the ready, although you can only use two materials per print job. The main purpose of this is to fully utilize the Ultimaker Cloud to send, for example, a yellow PLA with PVA print to your cloud synced print farm and have the Ultimaker S5 automatically unload filament and load in the desired materials to get started. Paired with a sensor in every bay to determine if they've run out of material before the job is done, and you can have a nearly completely hands-free print job from start to finish, save for the print removal. Ultimaker has established itself as an all-encompassing 3D printer manufacturer with an answer for every step of the printing process. With the help of this comparison, you should be on your way to choosing the right Ultimaker for you and your projects. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the Matter Hackers YouTube channel and find us at Matter Hackers on all your favorite social media platforms. To learn more and to order your Ultimaker 3D printer today, go to matterhackers.com.